Bruce Lee, a name that resonates with the echo of legendary fights. Born in the year of the dragon, in the hour of the dragon, Lee Junfan, known to the world as Bruce Lee, was destined for greatness. His early life in Hong Kong was a mix of dance, drama, and the beginning of a lifelong affair with martial arts. As a teenager he plunged into the world of Wing Chun, mastering the art under the watchful eye of Yip Man. His first foray into the silver screen gave the world a glimpse of a unique fighting style, a blend of grace and power that had never been seen before. His movements, swift yet deliberate, his strikes, precise yet devastating, set him apart from other martial artists of his time. Each fight scene was a dance, a thrilling spectacle that left audiences in awe. Little did the world know this was just the beginning of an era of unforgettable fights. Bruce Lee's first major breakthrough came with the movie The Big Boss. This film was a turning point in his career, bringing him into the limelight and showcasing his incredible martial arts skills on a global platform. The fight scenes in this movie are not just impressive displays of strength and agility. They are a testament to Lee's unparalleled skill and precision. One of the most memorable fight scenes in The Big Boss takes place in an ice factory. Now, this is not your typical fight scene. It's a showcase of Bruce Lee's exceptional speed and precision, his ability to move like lightning and strike with the force of a thunderbolt. As he moves through the factory he takes on multiple adversaries, dispatching them with a fluidity and grace that is nothing less than awe-inspiring. Each move, each strike, each block, is executed with a precision that is almost surgical. His opponents barely have time to react before they're on the ground, defeated by the sheer speed and power of his attacks. And it's not just his speed and precision that are impressive, it's the way he uses his surroundings to his advantage, turning the factory into an extension of his own body. This fight scene is a prime example of Bruce Lee's unique fighting style. It's not just about physical strength, it's about speed, precision, and the ability to adapt to any situation. He doesn't just fight, he dances, he flows, he moves like water. And in doing so, he turns the fight into a form of art, a spectacle that is as beautiful as it is deadly. Bruce Lee's fights in The Big Boss were not just fights, they were a display of art, speed, and unparalleled skill. They were a testament to his philosophy of martial arts, a philosophy that emphasized adaptability, fluidity, and above all, the ability to strike with speed and precision. These fights were a demonstration of what Bruce Lee was capable of, and they set the stage for the incredible feats of martial arts that were to come in his later films. The movie Enter the Dragon marked a significant milestone in Bruce Lee's career. This film, released in 1973, set a new benchmark for martial arts cinema. It's not just the choreography or the cinematography that made it a classic, but the sheer force and charisma of Bruce Lee himself. He was a force of nature, possessing a magnetic presence that was simply impossible to ignore. One of the most iconic fight scenes in this movie occurs in the mirror room. This scene is a masterclass in strategy and adaptability. Bruce Lee's character is surrounded by mirrors and his enemy is hidden amongst the reflections. Beyond the movie sets, Bruce Lee had some legendary fights that were luckily recorded. Outside the confines of choreographed fight scenes, Bruce Lee's prowess was equally, if not more, impressive. His speed, precision, and sheer power were even more breathtaking when viewed in the context of an unscripted real-life fight. One such fight that stands out is his legendary bout with Chuck Norris. Norris, a world champion in karate, was no easy adversary. However, Bruce Lee's unique approach to combat was what set him apart. He didn't adhere to a single style. Instead, he believed in the style of no style, a philosophy he encapsulated in his creation, Jeet Kune Do. In his fight with Norris, we saw this philosophy in action. Bruce didn't just use techniques from a single martial art, instead he fluidly transitioned between styles, using whatever was most effective in the moment. He was a human chameleon, adapting his tactics to counter whatever his opponents threw at him. Bruce's fight with Norris wasn't a movie scene, there were no directors, no retakes, no choreography, it was raw, it was real, and it was intense. Every punch, every kick, every block was a testament to Bruce's ability to apply his art in real-life situations. But this was not the only time Bruce showcased his prowess in real-life situations. There were numerous instances where he was challenged, and he always rose to the occasion. These real-life fights further solidified his status as a legendary martial artist. And it wasn't just about winning fights. Bruce Lee always emphasized the importance of self-improvement and personal growth. He believed in pushing his limits, challenging himself, and constantly evolving. He once said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, 
but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. These real-life fights showcase Bruce Lee's true prowess and his ability to apply his art in real-life situations. They remind us that Bruce Lee was not just a movie star, he was a true martial artist, a philosopher, and a legend. Bruce Lee may have left us, but his legendary fights live on. Like an echo reverberating through time, the influence of Lee's unparalleled martial arts prowess is unmistakable. His fights, a symphony of agility and power, have seeped into the bedrock of martial arts and action cinema, shaping it into what we see today. From the gritty streets of action thrillers to the high-octane sequences of superhero sagas, Lee's influence is ever-present. His unique blend of speed, precision, and raw energy has become the gold standard for fight choreography, a benchmark that many aspire to but few, if any, can truly match. Even after five decades, his fights continue to mesmerize audiences worldwide, a testament to his timeless appeal. They serve as a constant reminder of his mastery, his passion, and his indomitable spirit. The legend of Bruce Lee lives on through his unforgettable fights, forever captured in the annals of martial arts history. Bruce Lee's fights were not just about physical prowess but also about mental strength and strategy. His approach to combat was a harmonious blend of mind, body and spirit, an embodiment of his philosophy, Jeet Kune Do. This philosophy was not just about fighting, but it was a way of life, a path toward personal development and self-expression. In the big boss fight scenes, we saw a young Bruce Lee, raw and unfiltered, showcasing his unique fighting style for the very first time. His lightning-fast punches, high kicks, and the sheer intensity of his fight scenes left audiences around the world in awe. This was our first glimpse into the genius of Bruce Lee, a man who would go on to redefine martial arts cinema and inspire millions. Enter the Dragon was a turning point. It was here that Bruce Lee's skills were showcased on a global platform. His charisma, coupled with his extraordinary martial arts abilities, catapulted him to international stardom. The iconic mirror scene, the battle with the guards, and the final showdown with Mr. Han are all testament to Lee's prowess and his innovative approach to choreography. Through the unseen fights, we got a glimpse into the real Bruce Lee, the man behind the legend. His off-screen battles were just as impressive if not more, demonstrating his true mastery of martial arts. These fights serve as a reminder that Bruce Lee was not just an actor but a true martial artist, and the legend lives on. Bruce Lee's influence is seen in every corner of the martial arts world from the movies to the dojos. His fighting style, his philosophy, and his enduring popularity are a testament to his greatness. He taught us that martial arts is not just about fighting, but about self-discovery and self-improvement. Bruce Lee once said, the key to immortality is first living a life worth remembering. And through his legendary fights he has indeed achieved immortality.